Hello everyone, it's Kiki. In this video, we are making a 1960s yoke dress. Before the video starts, if you're watching it for the first time, this is a channel dedicated to introducing knowledge, stories, and step-to-step -step making of costumes and fashion wear. We upload videos of costume or dressmaking every week. Almost every video will be attached with the free pattern file, which means you may DIY too. A yoke is a pattern piece that forms parts of a garment, usually fitted around the neck and shoulders or hips. Provides supports for looser parts of clothing, such as pleating or gathering the body of a skirt or shirt. Yoke structure was first seen in the 19th century. Fashion in the 1960s became more casual. The design is gender neutral and age neutral. Women's wear follows three major trends. The continuation of the ladies' elegance in the 1950s, Mary Cran's youthful style, and the hippie style of the late 1960s. You may download a free pattern file at the link below. Please read the pattern information on the first six pages before printing. The first page is the copyright notice, printing and sewing precautions. The second page is the test page to make sure printed drawings are correct size. Third page is the size chart for reference. There are also measurements demonstration video on the channel. The fourth page is the production information of the pattern as well as cutting and fabric usage. The fifth page is the graphic information of the pattern. The sixth page is the technical flat drawings. The seventh page starts with the actual patterns in different size. When printing, please pay attention to the settings and choose A4 size paper. Click actual size or 100%. You may click print. After printing, you may trim off the top right corner. Check that the lengths of the square are 5 cm. Arrange them according to the letters and numbers on the paper. Align the markings on the paper and stick them together. Pay attention to the position of the green line when cutting the fabric. The green line must be parallel to the red line on the pattern. Use a ruler to confirm that they are parallel to one another. Sometimes pattern pieces will not include seam allowance. After the pins are fixed, please mark the lines with the marking tool. Then use busting or chalk to mark the desired seam allowance. Pattern pieces with seam allowance can use the tracing wheel to copy the seam line. The number of cuts are marked on the pattern pieces. Make gathers at yoke lines on both front and back. The length of the gathers must be shortened to the same length as the corresponding yoke panels. Then seam with yoke panels. Seam the front and back shoulders and side seams. We are using the French seams. You can close the seams anywhere you prefer. Inward fold at hemline. Switch the footer to zipper's footer. Sew the concealed zipper on the CB line.
Seam the top half to the middle piece. Then attach the interfacing to the cuffs. Sew the cuffs into a long cylinder. Seam the cuffs to the sleeves. Make gathers at the cuff line seam. After the sleeves are seamed, they are seamed with the top. Armholes gathered and sew on the top. A square sailor collar can be decorated with your favorite ribbon or lace. Then sew it to the back piece of the collar. Before turning over, trim the excess seam allowances. After turning it over, iron it well. Trim the collar to the top. Attach buttons and buttonholes on the bracket. Don't forget to support us when you see this. Remember to give us a like, leave a message about the clothing you want us to make, share more of our videos. 
Thank you for watching. We will see you next time. Bye bye.